Hi planners, thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. This is Chloe from Chloe Tree Plans and today I will be showing you how to create a dashboard for your planner. Today I will be using my colorful or pastel sticker book. Um, it is a value sticker book from the Happy Planner I purchased at Michaels. I will also be using my Homebody enamel stickers which I purchased at Michaels as well and my Snap-in tabs that I purchased some time ago but I believe some version of these tabs are available online or in stores and for your convenience I will be providing some of these items in the description below. Today I'll be using this plastic piece of um, piece of plastic I guess <laughs> this clear piece of plastic for my planner and to make this dashboard. If you're wondering what a dashboard is it is just a little decorative sheet that you can put in your planner. Sometimes people use it as a divider but today I will be using it just to be decorative and cute in my happy planner. And so you will also need, which is off screen, a Tombow adhesive. It doesn't have to be the Tombow brand, but some kind of adhesive, glue or tape and a pair of scissors for this. And so pretty minimal supplies needed. If you're looking for some type of plastic to use, I actually use some of the plastic that came with one of my um, accessory packs but you could use the plastic that's on the back of a sticker sheet kind of like the one I'm using in this video so that sticker sheet that I used to show you all the enamel stickers with you could use that if you don't have any kind of clear plastic and I'm going to be using these Instax mini photos because I took these at my last workshop and I thought they were really cute and they would add a cute little added touch to my planner so now I'm going to go ahead and add the word friends to this dashboard and I'm going to do so using the sticker book that I added in the description below. Um, it is the mega book, the pastel mega book and I'm just showing the cover here. This is the book I'll be using to take my sticker letters from. Okay, so now that I have the word friend spelled out with stickers that I used, I am going to place the Instax photos on the dashboard and now I'm going to place stickers on the dashboard. And the sticker that is calling out to me is this little pink sticker here. So I'm going to use this pink flower and put it on the dashboard. And these stickers, what I like is that because they're both, they're on plastic, they're really easy to peel up. So when I need to reposition, it's really easy. And now I'm going to go ahead and stick the Instax mini photos on the dashboard. And I'm going to do that using my Tombow tape runner. And so if you don't have one of these, it's really nice. It's removable adhesive. And so what I like about it is it sticks really well, but if I want to remove the adhesive at a later time, I can do just that. And so I'm gonna use this to put tape or adhesive on the back of the photos and then stick them on to this dashboard. So now that I went ahead and put the Instax photos down, I decided that the placement I had, I really wanted to keep it kind of slanted. So now I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the part of this picture that's sticking out. Now I'm decorating this dashboard with more stickers from the Homebody enamel sticker sheet. And so I'm just going to add what feels right. The awesome part is that because I'm using plastic, these stickers are removable. So if I put a sticker down that I don't like, I can put it back um, in a pretty reasonable amount of time. And it's nice. I don't have to really worry about messing up because I can really reposition and move these stickers around as I would like. Thank you. 
So now that I have put down the stickers that I want to use to decorate, I'm taking another sticker from my mega book and I'm putting it on each Instax photo so that I can add the name of the event and also the date. The reason I'm using stickers instead of writing it is because I want to use a pen and the pen won't stay on the Instax. But if you'd like to write directly on the Instax photo, you can use a Sharpie marker and it will have the same effect. I just thought that the stickers would add a cute added touch. Now it's time to add the clip that's going to help me to add in this dashboard to my planner. So the official name for these are Snap In Tabs. And so I bought this tab with the Daydreamer collection back when Daydreamer was released in 2018, I believe, or 2017. They were released and it was a 2018 planner. And so I went ahead and kept these because I really liked using these tabs when I make dashboards. There is a sticky adhesive on the back and so I just took off the little clear peel. Now a little pro tip is that that little clear peel I just put down right next to the tape runner. I can use that as another snap in tab even though it's not sticky. I can just use the Tombow adhesive and make it another sticky. So you can kind of get double if you buy a pack of these adhesive tabs. So now I'm just going to show you how it'll fit in my planner. Um, I put it against the cover. I thought that would be cute, but I think it's it's contrasting just a little bit. So I'm gonna move it to the inside of the planner just so you can see how it looks. And so now you can see how it looks. Now, if you want for an added touch, you could add a little bit of a background just so the back looks a little bit different, but I like that you can see through this. And so I probably will leave it like this. Thank you so much for choosing to watch my video. I really appreciate it. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment to me if you want to try this out. And if you want to see any more DIY tutorials on how you could add some creativity and some beauty to your planner.